This is the book of Isaiah, the 48th chapter, the 8th verse, and it says this, beginning at the 8th verse. It says, Yea, thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not, yea, from that time that thine ear was not open, for I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously. Now this is before we that's involved in this ministry came in the truth. Right? And was called a transgressor from, from the womb. For my name's sake will I defer mine anger. So this is the Heavenly Father talking to us through the prophet Isaiah, those of us that he have called and hopefully chosen for this ministry. He said, look, there was a point in time when I knew you wouldn't hear me and you wouldn't know about me. Now, during that time, I withheld my anger from you. I could have destroyed you, but I withheld my anger from you because later I would choose you to magnify me, which means magnify my name. This is what we're reading here. For my name's sake, that's how great the Heavenly Father's name is and his son's name is, okay? For my name's sake, Will I defer mine anger and for my praise, and what we're going to praise, his name and his son's name. And for my praise will I refrain from thee that I cut thee not off. So Yahweh Shem Yahshai wanted to cut us off because of our wickedness. Like it said, we, we were what a transgressor from the womb and we dealt very treacherously in being wicked. But because he would later choose us or chose us to magnify his name and his son's name, he withheld his anger from destroying us. How about that? Like he's going to destroy the two thirds. So how the hell can you tell me that he's not going to give us his name or his son's name, the true name of the father and the true name of the son? when he chose us for the very purpose of magnifying his true name and his son's true name. How does that make sense? How does it make sense that we do not have the names of the father and the son? It doesn't make any sense. And especially when you read scriptures like this, Isaiah 48, beginning at the eighth verse, right? Let's read it again. Yea, thou heardest not, yea, thou knewest not. This is before we came into truth. And yea, from that time that thine ear was not opened, open to what? The truth, right? Thine ear was not open, for I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously and was called a transgressor from the womb. Transgressor of what? Sin, right? For my name's sake will I defer my anger. So the reason why the Heavenly Father chose us when he could have destroyed us, the reason why he chose us is for us to magnify his name. So how is he not going to give us his name? How do you make that make sense? The reason why he chose us is to magnify his son's name. How is he not going to give us his son's name, the true name, when we were chosen for that very purpose? For my name's sake will I defer mine anger and for my praise will I refrain from thee that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee. Now we're in the truth now. Now we've been brought to the truth. And the first part of the truth is learning the names of the Father. <coughs> Excuse me, the true names of the Father and the Son. The very first thing Moses asked the Heavenly Father was, What is your name? You're going to send me to these Israelites as a spokesman for you, you got to tell me your name because they're going to ask me in what name you're coming in and I got to give them an answer. Now, did the Heavenly Father get mad at Moses? Hell no. The Heavenly Father told Moses his name. And guess what? That's the same name that we have today. His name ain't changed. Malachi 3 and 6. For the Lord, as a matter of fact, let me read it. Let me read it, man. Malachi 3 and 6. says this, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Meaning the Lord is going to deliver the 
left. So the key point there is he doesn't change. So it's the same name that he had back then. It's the same name that he has now. It has not changed. Let's get the book of Hebrews. I believe it's Hebrews 13 and 18. Let's get that. Hebrews 13 and 8. What does that say? It says, Yahawashai, the same yesterday and today and forever. So if the son don't change, which the son learned from the father, guess what? The father don't change. Okay? The father don't change. So again, let's get back to Isaiah 48. Behold, I have refined thee, meaning he's brought us into the truth, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Ain't that what we're going through, brothers? And the few sisters that listen to these videos, but mainly you brothers, because this is really for you. Are we not going through the furnace of affliction right now? Okay, the furnace of affliction. Are we not going through it? So let's read Isaiah 48 and 10 again. Behold, I have refined thee, meaning he brought us in the truth, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Why? Why did he do all that? Let's read the next verse. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake will I do it, meaning his name. That's why he did it. That's why he refined us when he could have destroyed us. He was telling us by the prophet Isaiah, look, I could have destroyed you for your wickedness. But because I chose you, I didn't destroy you. And I'm going to use you to magnify my name, to magnify my son's name. So how the hell are we not going to know the names? How can we magnify that which we don't know? Does that make any sense to you brothers out there? No, it does not. Okay? For mine own sake, even for my own sake, he said it twice, will I do it? So why is he doing it? Why did he give us such great knowledge and understand it? What, to magnify ourselves? I don't think so. He gave it to us to magnify him, to magnify his name and his son's name. That's why he gave it to us. Okay? It starts with him. Like the old saying goes, to the most high be all the glory and praise. Okay, it starts with him. Guys that are putting down the name of the Father and the Son, they want to magnify themselves. That's their problem. They want to magnify themselves. They're not about magnifying the Heavenly Father and His Son. Let's get John 7 and 18. It just came to mind. This is what Yahweh Shai said. You got to watch out for those guys that want to magnify themselves. Yeah, you got to watch it. They're easy to spot because their their own vanity gives them away anyway. John 7 and 18. Here, here we go. Here we go. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. There you go. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, that's the glory we're seeking. Beginning with Elder Apostle Tom down, that's the glory we're seeking. We're seeking the glory of the one that chose us to magnify him. All right, to magnify him and his son. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai chose us. Okay? Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai chose us, and our duty is to magnify Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai. Okay? All praise and glory goes to Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai, man. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. That's the problem. You got a lot of cats in Israel, and I ain't gonna name no names. You know who they are. You got a lot of cats in Israel seeking their own glory. They're not seeking the glory of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai who chose them. They act as if they chose themselves to be in the faith. They act as if they gave themselves the mind to understand this knowledge. I don't think so. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his glory that sent him, the same is true and no unrighteousness is in him. How about that? Okay? So you got to watch out for those guys that seek to magnify their own self. Okay? Isaiah 48 and 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Why did the Heavenly Father do that? For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how should my name, my name, my name be polluted? You got cats that are polluting the Heavenly Father's name and his son's name just for their own vanity. Think about that. You got cats that are polluting, making fun of his name, disrespecting his name just for their own vanity. How about that? And you tell me what the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to do to an individual like that. You tell me. Huh? Remember 
the, the story of the Egyptian, it's in the book of Exodus, I believe, that disrespected the name of the Heavenly Father. What happened to him? He was put to death. That's what happened to him. And that's what you're about to see. You're about to see how Bar Shimei Shai start putting cats to death that disrespect his name and the son's name. You're about to see that, man. For mine own sake, even for mine own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. Plain and simple. So, to recap this lesson, to end this lesson, the number one reason why the Heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai gave us this knowledge, this truth, was not to glorify ourselves. It was to glorify and magnify Him and His Son. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as the uncleanness of a removed woman. Wherefore, I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land, and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries. According to their way, and according to their doings, I judged them. And when they entered unto the heathen, whither they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord, and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen, and gather you out of all countries, and will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes. And ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God.